In the meantime, let's head over to Etequini. Now, despite uh, the uh, metro municipality declaring 22 of its 23 beaches safe for swimming, it seems there's some bad news from Durban's University of Technology as the holiday season law, rather, is fast approaching. While well, the Institute for Water and Wastewater Technology has now released a report that shows critical levels of E. coli at some of the metro swimming spots. But for more on this story, we're now joined by Professor Faisal uh, Butts uh, from the Institute. He joins us all the way from Durban. Prof, thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. Uh, let's get into the merits of your report. I mean, on one hand, we're hearing from the Metro saying that, uh, you know, a, a huge chunk of their beaches, a big number of those, 20 or 22 or so, are open for swimming. And we know that the holiday season is literally right upon us uh, with tourism booming at this stage. But does your report agree with the Metro? Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, here at the Institute for Water and Wastewater Technology, we do routinely test beach water quality, uh, focusing on the microbiological water quality uh, in the interest of public safety. So on the 21st of September, which was last week, Thursday, we obtained samples for six beaches. That is all the way from the north, from Amshlanga Beach, all the way south to the Eddington Beach. And uh, our results showed that uh, all six beaches did not meet the permissible limits for swimming. So just to further explain, uh, your E. coli counts below 200 uh, CFU per 100 mil is acceptable uh, for swimming. But those counts that exceed 200 to 400 uh, are a poor water quality and more than 500 is regarded as critical. Hmm. So all six beaches, unfortunately, exceeded uh, 200 uh, E. coli counts per 100 mil. So what I can say is that, unfortunately, on the 21st of September, that the beach water quality was not suitable for the public to swim. Hmm. Well, is that exactly what, uh, you know, the, the word critical means? Critical means that uh, the E. coli levels are, are so much uh, that um, it's quite detrimental really to allow people to make use of those beaches. Absolutely. I mean, the, 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 there's regulated uh, rule laws where if your E. coli levels exceed permissible limits, those beaches should be closed. And unfortunately, two out of the six beaches, the counts actually exceeded more than 50 times the permissible limit. So, uh, and those beaches actually were along the Amgeni River. Uh, on the left-hand Amgeni of the Amgeni, which is a Virginia beach, and on the right, which is a Laguna beach, mm. uh, those counts were excessively high. And certainly those beaches should not be used. In fact, they should be closed until those E. coli levels do normalize. Yeah. So, Prof, how long do you think it would take um, for the E. coli levels to actually, you know, reach uh, substandard levels enough for, you know, people to make use of the beaches for recreational purposes? That's a difficult question. Yeah. If the municipality addresses the actual cause of the uh, contamination in most likelihood, it could be, uh, uh, you know, untreated wastewater from a wastewater plant. Uh, it could be uh, pump stations that could be malfunctioning that's causing this uh, untreated sewage to, to get into your rivers, which eventually ends up on your beaches, uh, which results in your high E. coli count. So it would be difficult to say when can, when would the problem be resolved. That's mm. entirely dependent on the municipality to first identify what the cause of the problem is and then address that problem. Let's then talk about the negative impacts of E. coli here on the human body. Should, you know, perhaps even tourists, uh, beachgoers, heed the call of uh, the Etequini municipality, head over to these beaches, at least five or six of them that you've mentioned, that are showing these concerning levels of E. coli. What is the danger here on one's body and health? So, obviously, if you're swimming and you ingest the, the, the sea water, the beach water, there's this high likelihood that you're going to end up getting gastroenteritis and all sorts of other illnesses. So, certainly, it's not advisable for individuals to swim. But remember, this is like one, close to one week ago. I cannot comment if the matter has been resolved and if the beach water quality has improved. But certainly, based on accounts that we had obtained, and I'm quite aware that there are other private labs that have conducted a similar tests and that have also shown that the E. coli levels last week were substantially high 
uh, compared to permissible limits. Mm. So advisable not to swim uh, with these such high E. coli levels. It can lead to medical uh, problems. Yeah, and I'm just uh, worried uh, for those perhaps who have heard the call from the metro, uh, you know, the Etiquity Metro saying that they can swim and may miss this conversation and hopefully they can get a hold of them uh, because, you know, th there needs to be responsibility here as well taken uh, from beachgoers to make sure they have enough research and information at their disposal so not to put their own, you know, uh, lives or at least health in danger. I just want to come to, you know, this, this, this comment here made by Dr. Musa Gumeda, Community and Emergency uh, Deputy city manager out in the city of uh, Eteguini, Prof. I mean, reporting to Exco, uh, Dr. Musa Gumeda said that stringent sampling and testing procedures were conducted to ensure that beach quality on a weekly basis is of good quality, saying that they would not advise people to go to these beaches if they hadn't had information, you know, from experts at their disposal that it was safe to do so. So when we talk about stringent sampling and testing, surely it's thorough, but what exactly does it take? Uh, how thorough is the testing of the water levels? Because clearly, uh, between your report and theirs, uh, the missed there seems to be a mismatch here. Yeah, you know, it's a bit disappointing because, yes, I, I have to agree and say that there are standard protocols, internationally recognized protocols for looking and testing on, look, focusing on the microbiological water quality for beach water. Uh, and I'm sure that the municipality is using those stringent, stringent protocols. I'm aware also that the municipal laboratories are accredited. So, you know, listening to, 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 to statements that the beach water uh, satisfies the permissible limits and those beaches should be open uh, is a bit concerning to me. Uh, you know, we're happy to, we, we do work with the municipality and we're also happy to discuss this particular issue with the municipality and con case concurrently with the municipality uh, so that we ensure that, uh, you know, we're on the same uh, path and, you know, the, the public safety is, is of utmost importance uh, at this level. But, uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, that there was a, uh, another private lab that did concurrent testing that also showed uh, the beach water quality far exceeding the municipal, the uh, standards allowed. Hmm. Well, with that, of course, point being made, thank you so much, Prof, for joining us right here on Newslink. Professor uh, Faisal Bax from the Institute for Water and Wastewater Technology. Uh, just raising concern there that there are still beaches that are not, uh, you know, safe for recreational purpose, saying that the E. coli levels are also at critical stages there. So that begs the question to, you know, to ask the Itaguini municipality, uh, then uh, where did they get their information from? Because when we compare the report uh, by Dr. Faisal Baxia, as well as that of the Itaguini municipality, they're not speaking the same language. One says uh, there are the beaches, uh, whether the beaches are available for usage, at least 22 of 23 of them are available for recreational purposes. But we are understanding here that between five and six are actually not, and it might be safe not to swim in those beaches.